Greetings and welcome back. So today I have for you a clearing of our physical eyes. So during our ascension journey, we may experience different symptoms in our physical eyes. Uh, it, we may also experience that it affects our sight as well. So not only is there a need to clear away things that we have witnessed in this lifetime and others that have affected us in a negative way, uh, there is also things that we, as we heal and as we align with our divine self, there may be things in our lives, inside of us and around us, that we are not fully willing to to see, to... <clears throat> to we, we may not be willing to be fully honest with ourselves and this may also affect our eyes when there are things that we resist um, as we awaken and activate our inner sight the third eye that also affects our physical eyes as well as this whole area around our ears and our forehead um, also the, uh, all the way down to the nose so i experienced it myself and i hear from many clients that um, issues around eyes are very linked to our ascension journey so today i have i want us to go through a clearing if there's anything that needs to be cleared and healed if there is anything that stands in the way for us to fully be willing to see what we need to see so that we then may take action um, when we live our lives or when we have arranged our lives around the unhealed self when we heal when we wake up we will find ourselves in circumstances um, in choices in life situations that doesn't fully resonate and sometimes it can be hard to to fully see it and to take to take full responsibility so we then can adjust and realign with a high path for ourselves so this is also clearing for us to be willing and to be courageous enough to see and when we are willing to see we will also then be guided and um, supported to align with a higher timeline um, as I mentioned there are things that we have we have been witnessing in these lifetimes and others that is dimming our sight as well that is making us see life through colored lenses uh, so even though we are in another reality we may tend to see life through the past wounds and trauma so that something that needs to be addressed as well as uh, as i said as we activate and open our third eye it really for me it really did affect my sight and my eyes um, and it can go on for months so that may be the case for you if you have um, issues around your eyes uh, and it may be irritation uh, that you find your eyes always uh, um, being red or just the tears are streaming down your eyes for no reason it doesn't need to be that you are sad um or you just get very your eyes get very sensitive um i also heard from many women that it is uh, they have felt behind eyes some pressure behind eyes um, and it's also because we women are awakening to our power in new sense uh, and that also means that we are now meant to look at things that programs that we have not maybe be fully willing to see situations and relationships 
so that may be the case for some of you as well so just see how this resonates with you and your circumstances And they also um, want me to mention the, our, if it is issues with your, our right eye, eye that has to, may has to do with your the masculine energies, uh, or if it's the left eye that has to do with your feminine energies. It can also be, what I say, inherited things, like um, how you to see the world maybe it be is things that you inherited from your mother line or your father line as well so that is an aspect to it and as we connect source as I bring down the white flame of resurrection to bless our eyes with this divine light to heal and to clear everything that needs to be healed and cleared for the highest good of all Kimiriante se cruce shanta shakro sashai. Kimuriante shao shake se tru samuri anayatash. Si pui etre no sho so shai tre kuru so sho pi arene se kuf. So, what they're starting with is to dissolve the veils. Of illusions, so for sana ke kor ki murian tare ate se koko ki nurian te yoro so shai ke ko to shai ne mar na nare so koko things that you have been programmed to believe is true to ways to look at the world to to re ne are santre koko sente shai. Pimurunu no se to sai koko ka te ko tere ante ko se kosh etere to to se tere ai kimur santa shen toro sos ane to kash ikoso. So they're showing me that maybe when you are by yourself in nature or in sacred space in meditation, that you are connected connected to a much higher timeline. And you get very inspired, and you get all these messages and nudges, and then you come back and you open your eyes and you look at the world around you and you think that this is just not possible. So it's like it pulls you back. So this is what they are clearing right now. That is a program. To keep you stuck. Keep you in this place of playing small mirunne or so shatre konore te shantru so for kimi u sente antane tosh te atai sha ko shai believe in that high version of you tare se ko shanai believe in those dreams believe in the miracles but sentro shakear se ko shai Trust that calling me we share se murian te ki ki mur sam periantes te re sin re ko sin toro fi arre me ati ki ar se ke te sante antoro lor jante antas ki mur sa te re ante ko si forsai a se norotos. Me o no no ro se te a tai a ko ko shai te or sa shanta ya ya re to shu sa na e u to fresh. 
se potuše. Mm. And there is now a healing of the pain you have witnessed. For some of you, it is issues in the family from childhood, crudity between people. Ai tush me unoro so shetreko. Ki maria narea se ororo li e ketara e te konor. Li ur santere utush e ta me uia narea te ki. Ki putishe se shinur se shoku. If you have experienced that this world is a fear, fearful place, unsafe place. So what they say is they are undoing what you have been witnessed, witnessing. Me tush oesh seur neliana liuliateu liura se teor saliante koshentos ne me vitere sin koriti kotoshe kiante koko sheteriato se eterno yateko kimu shaiteriante ko. Kiliarane nuliata teate oso. Kiluriane santa soko santa asi koneas simunu norishindreos. Kipurianta santoso liana liana shaiti ko koshente se. Si o no yo tos muyata koyanto. Infusing your eyes with this new light. The white light, the resurrection, to align your sight with divinity, to see beyond and behind the veils, to know the truth, to see with the eyes of your heart connected in love, to move beyond fear. to bring back right perception. And for that, we have also Archangel Michael with us. And he also says it is to have the courage to see what you need to see. And he also reminds you that it is for you, for the highest best, your highest best. And you may hear state out loud or internally, ah, yes, I'm willing to see. And he also says that it's also the beauty that you will be able to see, all the, also the good in life.
the miracles. Kimush Murs in a ketro, a ketin tor, a simpor, a takete, the tickados, um orientes. Love hoy, I atakan, the grills, the ur, me untash on a kitty, the tin drosan. Kiwayash, I see nor. See you shantash, you to toshai tiko. Kate and Tarea to show. Me ur sante o shane, I ate. Kito yante kos ayate or sosho mi unto shanayatai to koko ko ki san ne orshe arayate koli antare tetes mi ur santa hush ay ki ko bring a balance to your eyes nu yu noro santa so she at the outro seno coco say she outro shana clary. Bujian de conor secreti arts elior neateco. Also to see the way through the same. This is for some of you. In um, any situation, in any circumstances in which you find yourself right now. And if you're not able to, you will be able to see the way through. Kimori santata nai huki ante soko to shono ko etere antarai se kito to to sanereti kite yar bipuri atata and how to connect the dots as well. So if you have a vision, if you have that goal, that dream, and you find yourself here. And you want to go here and you're not sure how how to you will it will be shown to you how to connect the dots how to see the way through how to move forward and they say that it is because some many of you with this yes i'm willing to see if you are honest and roll with yourself that i'm willing to see whatever it is you need to see um, and to take full responsibility if there's something that needs to change in your life or if it's some steps you need to take to fully embody your soul's purpose to be in alignment with that highest timeline when we take full responsibility your guides the universe will work to help you create that for you to bring that dream into reality. So you have right here, right now, uh, aligned with that timeline, <clears throat> timeline, and you have shifted reality. So they see how they are open. The path ahead lies open before you. Maya narete kiti inkorono sa nemri na ako liur sa nekoto sa nemri uno ho ayata sa noro sa moro sa nono kiyata. The help that you need is arriving. Is arriving. Para pero uno ko the assistance puto sa taranta na the coincidences. The support, Tayantara Sakotosana, Boliantere Sokotosh, E. O. Sanonor, Miwiantare de Tosaneko. Just breathe. And ground energies down. So this was a beautiful adding to it that I did not expect. But it's I've seen it so many times when we say yes, when we are willing. There are it our guides. It may we for ourselves make possible by aligning with something higher, bigger, brighter, and then we get so much help.
There is so much power in this, yes. And they say to me, as much power in the no, if there's something you need to say no to as well. You can be sure that you are guided away from from what isn't aligning anymore. If that is the case for you. And I say behind every no, there's also a yes. Good. And I send you many blessings for your path ahead. Thank you.